Hi guys, welcome to my channel. If you're new to my channel, hi, I'm Akanksha. I know this setup is different and like, you know, the lighting is different because I'm filming in the night. Like I have construction going on near my house during the daytime. So I'm not able to film in the morning. So I'm filming in the night. I hope, I hope this is good enough. I don't want the clarity to be too bad. I feel this is good enough. So that's why I'm filming it. And it's just a tips and tricks video. So I thought, you know, there's not much to see. So yeah, so today's video by the title, you know, it's a skincare, you know, tips and tricks or whatever, like basic, very, very, very basic things you have to know about skincare. And it surprises me so much that people still don't know such things like these are really, really basic things and skin is something you need to be so gentle with it because skin once gone is not going to come back. It is not easy to re rejuvenate your skin. Like maybe you could do a few procedures with money, but your original skin is your skin. Like it's always better. Like it's precaution is always better than uh, cure. So please a gentle and a kind reminder, please take care of your skin. So let's get into the video and I'll tell you things which you need to know about skincare. I wish someone told me this seven, eight years ago. Probably I would have like, you know, I would have a way, way, way better skin now. But doesn't matter. It's still, you know, I'm trying to heal my skin. I'm trying. My skin is behaving quite good these days. Uh, touch wood. So yeah, without any further ado, let's get into the video. So I have all the points noted down. So number one, guys, I cannot, cannot emphasize enough on the use of sunscreen. I know people who know that sunscreen is important, but still don't wear it because they're like it's a white cast, it's seen, it's ugly, it doesn't look pleasing. But there are always, always options in the market where you get tinted uh, SPFs, which is you know, which doesn't leave a white cast. So please always, always, always wear a mas uh, mascara. God. Always wear a sunscreen. So now next, let me tell you the types of sunscreens and which one you need to choose when you're choosing one. Uh, so I've already spoke about this on my Instagram a number of times, but I'm going to tell this again. So there are two types of uh, sunscreens. One is a mineral or a physical sunscreen and one is a chemical sunscreen. So the basic difference between two is the chemical sunscreen is a sunscreen, you know, which normally generally a lot of people use. It is something which you need to keep on your skin and, you know, it always in the back is written like, you know, take 15-20 minutes before leaving the house applied. It's because it has to react with the skin and uh, create a shield to the, you know, between the skin and the skin. Uh, sun the physical sunscreen are immediate so they you know once they are put on they instantly start working so the way they work is physical sunscreen reflects the light like once the sun hits you or the uv rays hit you it directly reflects it back whereas the chemical sunscreen absorbs the light transfers it into heat and then reflects it back so the thing is a lot of dermatologists everybody believe in chemical sunscreen but there are few ingredients you need to be very careful there's oxybenzone like the most harmful chemical it lit it is literally banned in a lot of countries so i mean a country bans something when you know they know that it is harmful studies are going on between the harmful effects of a chemical sunscreen but nothing has proven that it is too harmful but yeah like you know a lot of people try and avoid the chemical sunscreen because the few of the ingredients can lead to skin cancer can lead to a lot of other things for a chemical sunscreen to work it needs to react with your skin so a lot of times people with sensitive or acne prone skin can't take that like you know they break out even more when they use a sunscreen so that are the pro those are the pros and cons i'm using the neutrogena zinc one it's a yellow one not the blue one i use the sunscreen these days and it has been good it works wonders like i don't know how it reflects light but yes it's not making me break out and it's a physical sunscreen it has zinc it has titanium dioxide no fragrance so i'm happy with it so always apply sunscreen you might not see any damage now but trust me 
once you age if you're someone who's exposed to sun a lot you are going to get hyperpigmentation and a lot of other things especially if you have acne the acne scars are going to be even more darker when you go in the sun without being protected especially if you're brown skin the hyperpigmentation is going to hit you at some or the other point if you're going to be exposed in the sun and you're not going to protect your skin so why complicate so many things when you can just apply a sunscreen it is going to protect aging it's going to protect your acne you know it's going to do a lot of things so from tomorrow if you're not someone who wears sunscreen please wear your sunscreen number two is exfoliation i can write a book about exfoliation you have to have to have to have to exfoliate your skin at least once a week especially if you're someone who's going to wear makeup even if you're not because there's a lot of dead skin there's a lot of gunk on your skin and exfoliation just cleanses your skin it just gives that skin a air you know opening to breathe it's going to it's just a really good thing to do for your skin but now see in this video i really don't want to get technical with the ingredients and stuff because it's going to be a lot now let me just make it as basic as possible so i'm i want to make this video as simple as possible so i'm not going to get into the ingredients or the whole technical thing so i'm just going to keep this very basic so for exfoliation also there are two types one is the physical and one is chemical I am a person uh, who believes in chemical exfoliation than physical. Think I use physical exfoliators. I am not denying it, but I know how to. I and not everybody does. And especially there are so many, so many, so many people because of this ever used scrubs and a lot of other scrubs. People are still still using walnut scrubs, apricot scrubs. These are something which cause micro tears in your skin, guys. you know they are literally not even good for foot scrubs i if i if someone gives me an ever youth or some walnut scrubs i'm literally going to you know scrub it my scrub, scrub my feet with it because some ingredients are just not made for your skin so when someone tells you please listen to them and uh, even if it is not apricot or walnut there are few in other physical ex exfoliators which are totally good like you know uh, there's papaya charcoal and then various different uh, exfoliators or the various different scrubs but again it matters the amount of pressure you are putting on your skin so if you're someone who's just going to rub your face with this physical exfoliator it is going to damage your skin and especially if you have acne or any such skin like it is going to make it worse whereas chemicals uh, exfoliators are things like aha and bha so basically some glycolic uh, acid toner or aha is which just you know the ordinary one as an aha you just have to use it like a treatment like once or twice a week and it's going to exfoliate so those are the things which are formulated to exfoliate your skin so they just do the work according to the formula whereas physical exfoliators need a human hand to scrub it and there's so many people who do this diys they do a sugar scrub they do a coffee scrub they do so many things but you need to see i understand coffee scrubs and sugar scrubs are good but when someone formulates them for you they try and cut the particles into a round thing or there is a way they cut it there is a way they grind the particles so that they don't you know break or tear your skin but if you're just directly going to use some random exfoliator from your house and apply it and I'm just, you're just you and especially again depends on your hand pressure you don't know how much pressure you're putting please don't do anything which you don't know is good if you know and if you do it it is fine so if you're someone who does all these diys or uses any random scrub make sure you do it very gently but again skin is really delicate so i can't emphasize enough of how about how delicate you have to be just be very careful and if you can try and avoid physical exfoliators for your skin maybe like you know on your body it's still fine for your face i would advise you not to number 3 know the difference between natural products and clean products now 
there are so many companies in the market coming up with things that we are natural we are this we are ayurvedic we are that bullshit this bullshit but you need to know what you're buying you need to see the ingredients list it is always essential there are a lot of companies claiming to be natural but dude like listen to me what do you mean by natural there are adding some substance into the product right every substance is a chemical at the end of the day the word natural doesn't mean anything at the end of the day everything is a chemical we are you know chemical composition so chemicals are not bad chemicals are not something you need to run away from but yes if you are someone who would like to use natural ingredients you can but again there are a lot of things in natural ingredients which you know can be very pore clogging because like you know things like coconut oil oh my god coconut oil is such a heavy oil like see few people are blessed with very good skin they can get away with a lot of things if you're someone who uses coconut oil and you're fine with it i i, I have nothing to tell you but in case you are using coconut oil and your skin is bad that is why coconut oil is such a heavy oil it's super super comedogenic like it clogs your pores like crazy the minute i use coconut oil like tongue 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 acne everywhere everywhere i love coconut oil from my hair i'm not going to lie it is really good when you're eating coconut oil like you know you cook your food you drink coconut oil really really good but directly on the skin not at all good so like there are natural ingredients which affect your uh, skin too so so just make sure do your research when you're buying something just because something is natural or they claim to be natural it is not so that there, there's so many companies which claim to be natural and when you see the ingredients there's fragrance there is artificial fragrance it is not a natural fragrance from some oil there's artificial fragrance there is some preservative there are so many other things which include in the natural uh, skin care as well so just know like you know when you're buying don't blindly buy anything you need to know your skin you need to know the product to buy something don't be pressurized by anyone next uh, so now what is clean makeup clean makeup is something which doesn't have parabens doesn't have sulfate doesn't have alcohol doesn't have fragrance so these are basically they eliminate all the irritants to the skin to sensitive skin or to anything basically something dermatologists don't believe in they don't believe in uh, sulfate alcohol and such things there are a few dermatologists who don't mind few surfactants i'm again getting very technical so basically yeah, clean makeup is something which is you know rid of all these things they don't claim to be natural there are chemical products they have act, some some things have even active ingredients in it but yeah they are free of all the unwanted things in the skincare number 4 a lot of people don't know their skin type there are so many misconceptions of skin type like you know people just see some other people or just i don't know how they assume you know at this point when you're 15 or 20 years old you start you know you should start getting to know your skin you know your skin better than anybody else don't believe what anybody is saying you know your skin so believe in what you see like there are few people who still believe they have dry skin when they have combination skin leaning to oil oily there are few people who think they have a uh, normal skin but they have extremely oily skin so and then they use the products according to that because there are comp- there are products which claim to be for oily skin claim to be for dry skin and then they start using something which is not for their skin type and then they start breaking out because of course dude like for someone who has oily skin and you think you have dry skin and you're going to use something for you know which is there like for dry skin then of course because dry skin has a lot of you know heavy uh, humectants heavy ingredients in it which make your skin uh, very moisturized but oily skin people don't need such heavy things so of course it's going to clog your pores of course it's going to be very heavy on your skin so just know your skin type sit down and analyze your skin like for me i know this part like my t zone is very oily my the rest of my face is normal and it keeps changing with weather once when it is really cold outside my skin try, you know kind of gets dry during the summer it is super super oily so know your skin change your products accordingly and have a good skin guys
Number five, don't overload your skin with products. Now, there are so many products in the market like there's essence, there's serum, there's toner, there's this, that. There are a hundred, hundred million uh, products in the market. But don't feel pressurized because just because some blogger is using or just because your neighbor is using or your friend is using, don't feel pressurized. They might need it or their skin might need it or they use it and it suits them but it is not necessary that it will suit you and if you have like you know all these people telling you but you don't need it you don't have to like this has become a thing there's so many influencers doing so many things but the influencers take help they know the shit they know what they're doing so they also have been you know have gone through a good phases and bad phases with skincare and they must have figured it out but and when your skin doesn't need it and just because someone else using it doesn't mean you have to do you know use it to just please don't feel pressurized and add something into your skincare which your skin doesn't really need you know and really if you're just someone who is under 20 years and you don't have a lot of skin troubles you need to be good with face wash moisturizer sunscreen and max to max if you have some skin problem like acne a serum or something and be done you don't need a lot of things the thing is when once you start getting 23 your skin starts to age so slowly you can add anti-aging products or etc etc but when you're young especially in your teenage you don't need so many things just make sure you only give your skin what it needs and nothing extra again it's a similar thing to four but if your skin doesn't need it don't do it if your skin is really happy with the face wash if your skin is really good with a moisturizer and it is behaving very very well don't change it you don't have to change it it is not your job like and it's my job like i try different things because it's my job i need to tell people i need to try th two things because uh uh, sorry i need to try new things because i need to tell my audience what is good what is bad but it is not your job like if it is not your job don't do it if your skin is nice and stable it is not reacting to anything then so be it just don't disturb your skin by adding something new now number six i wanted to add this in number six and not number one or number ten because i know it's going to get neglected but guys drink water i cannot like i don't want to be that person ki kuch bhi ho jao, drink water but it is very important like i don't know why people just like wo ek, uh, like it's become like a rebel type of thing ki, ah, everybody's asking me to drink water ye kya hai. but people don't understand that it is really essential to drink water i don't want to be that person ki sab ke le drink water but yeah like so if if you're someone who forgets to drink water just keep your bottle around you see like so now my my bottle is with me like wherever i am i take my water bottle so that i remember that i need to drink water i at least drink three to four liters of water every day the minute i don't drink water it shows up on, on my skin it literally shows up on my skin so i always drink water and I want you guys to drink water. At least drink 2-3 to three liters, dude. Don't change all your skincare together. If someone like dermatologist like is suggesting you for your skin, that is a different thing. They know what they're doing. But if you're someone like, you know, just want to try a bunch of new skincare, don't change all your products together. Because you would, if something goes wrong, you won't understand what is reacting your skin. So if you want to change your uh, skincare to you know completely or if you want to try something just add one product at a time so you know that if something is going wrong it is because of the product don't change all your skincare together because you will never understand what is making you break out now number nine this is also again a very casual you know and very common point remove your makeup i beg you remove remove your makeup before you're going to bed i cannot emphasize enough the minute you don't need makeup, remove it. The minute you don't need makeup, remove it. I repeated it twice because you need to let your skin breathe. You, and I know, like, I my, are my friends, they literally don't remove. Like, everybody uses just wipes and they're done. And everybody wears heavy, heavy makeup. Nobody double cleanses. Nobody uh, does the whole step. And me being their friend, they still don't do it because... It's just how lazy they are, but 
प्लीज ऑलवेज रिमूव योर मेकअप एंड ऑब्वियसली दे दे डू सफर विद एक्नी बिकॉज दे आर नॉट क्लेंजिंग दर स्किन प्रॉपरली यू हैव टू बी केयरफुल वैन यू आर वेरिंग मेकअप डबल क्लेंज यूज अ क्लेंजिंग ऑयल अ क्लेंजिंग ब्लाम टेक ऑफ ऑल द मेकअप देन गो इन विद योर क्लेंजर नॉर्मल क्लेंजर एंड क्लेंज इट यू नीड टू नीड टू टेक योर मेकअप ऑफ रियली रियली वेल एंड नंबर टेन लास्ट बट नॉट लीस्ट देर आर सो मेनी पू पीपल हु अप्लाई द स्किन केयर रॉन्ग नाउ लेट वी जस्ट ब्रेक डाउन द uh what do you say step by step of when to apply what there are so many people talking about it but people still do it wrong especially i see like no shade but there people who are bigger people or like you know on a public platform already still do these mistakes i don't know who like why people have not told them so basically first comes like the cleansing just cleanse your face if you have any mist any toner anything apply it immediately after washing your face that is because basically toners and uh, essences or everything just make other products absorb into your skin very well so they just create that layer of moisture like it's like a wet sponge it just absorbs more into your skin and then number 2 is your serum like any serum what whichever you're using after the toner use your serum then comes your moisturizer apply your moisturizer apply your night cream under like you know night cream or eye cream or whatever you want and uh, if you ha- if you're supposed to do or like you know if you have something spot treatment you want to do you can do believe your moisturizer or above that's your personal choice that is fine and then comes your spf if you're going out in the morning and in the night if you like to add a facial oil then that is the lot so basically it's like a thinner consistency to a you know thicker consistency because once you apply a thicker like once you apply oil on your face nothing is going to pass through it it is because it is so heavy like the molecules or whatever it is so heavy so it's not going to pass through like all the thin serums or the toner and moisturizer is not going to pass to your skin so first again let's repeat the order cleansing essence or toner then your serums then your moisturizers and sunscreen or facial oil whichever or whatever time it is and spot treatment before or after moisturizer so this is the serial and please follow this so yeah those were the 10 points so yeah those were the 10 points and if you enjoy such videos do let me know because i want to do more skincare videos like i cannot recommend products because i'm trying out myself but i can give you a lot of information because i'm a skincare junkie i do a lot of research and i have a lot of knowledge about things and i thought it'll be useful to share it with you guys as well like the ingredients i'm going to get in like deeper into the technical things of skin care so if you will be interested let me know uh, so let me know by liking and commenting and yes make sure you subscribe to my channel and ring the bell so you get notified every time i post and i'll see you guys in the next video bye